From the same Cheshire stable that housed Entry Legends, Red Rum and Amberley House, Donald McCain sent out the Sir Trevor Hemmings owned Balla Briggs to win the 2011 John Smith's Grand National, and this time around he's hoping to emulate late father Ginger and record back to back wins in the world's most famous race. It's a very special day. You know, the horse's whole career has been geared around one day at Aintree, and um, uh, Mr. Hemmings, luckily, the horse had known like Mr. Hemmings that allowed me to do that. Um, the manner that he won his Grand National was special as well, you know, and, and, and when a plan comes together like that, it's, it's, it's always very special indeed. And the moment he crossed the line last year, the plan to, to get him back there in one piece again the following year? Absolutely, yeah. From, from that day to this, that's all it's, all, all it's been about, and hopefully we can get there. And what kind of state is he in at the moment? Um, has he been given a long time off to recover from his exertions? Yeah, he had a, he had a good break. He went home to Mr Hemmings' in the Isle of Man for the summer. Spent the summer with Hedgehunter of all things in the field together and, and came back and he's great and we've took our time and, um, and there was no other instructions than to concentrate on the one day and, and that's what we're doing. He's, he's, he's in full work now. He's starting fast work this week and at this stage we're very happy with him. And are we likely to see him before entry? Oh, you will, yeah. Hopefully he'll go back up to Kelso, the race he was second in last year. And whether we get another run in before that, I'm not quite sure. We'll see when he tells us he's ready. But, you know, there's only one day that really matters this year, and that's what we'll try and do is get him there spot on for the day. So if Kelso's first choice with the weather starting to play up a bit, have you got any sort of backup plans in mind at the moment? Oh, there will be. There's, all, there's always other races. We'll play We'll play that by here, you know. Let's, let's hope it's not an issue at the moment anyway, but, you know. At, at this stage we're more than happy with where we are and it's likely to be over fences that we see him he won't be running over hurdles it just happened last year we were still a novice over hurdles so it gave us another option but we won't be going down that route obviously his first one this year is, is running the Hennessy was a Beltingo Grand National Trial um, went a bit pear shaped at Haydock and came back and ran respectably at Sandown the other day and can run better you know so so he would conceivably well he will have an entry and would conceivably be if we didn't have Bella Briggs be a nice horse to take now and have you got a race in mind for him beforehand he's in the Great Yorkshire in a couple of weeks he'd possibly go there I don't know he's only just run so there's plenty of time there's no hurry for him you know <laughs> um, the plan is at the moment for him to go to the Gold Cup first and foremost and then see where we are after that with him not having run between the, the better fair chase and the Gold Cup, there's an opportunity to, to go and run him again afterwards, and it could be a Grand National, I don't know, but um, we'll, we'll see further down the line. He, he is a talented horse and a very good staying chaser. To be honest, he's been good since he came. I've been lucky, obviously, his problems have been in the past, but yeah, touch wood, everything's been fairly straightforward with him, and he's a good workhorse and, and, and a very straightforward horse at home. And on Racing Post ratings, he's the third highest rated staying chaser um, in Britain and Ireland this season, so not an awful lot to make up on Corte Star in long run to, to conceivably win a Gold Cup. No, I mean, I, I, I don't know we'd necessarily go there thinking we could win, but you, you could certainly justify going there to be placed in a Gold Cup, and we feel we could have him a bit sharper than he was at Haydock. He, Tim, he said he didn't give him quite the feel that he gave him in, in, in the Charlie Hall, which was understandable, he's always been a better horse fresh, hence we're going this route and going straight there, you know. And we also saw Fabalu, another one that might have an entry. <coughs> yeah, I mean, obviously there's a bit there's a bit of a way to go. He needs to win a race or two to get there, but it's a little unfortunate he's had injuries at the wrong time. I always hoped he'd make an entry horse, whether it was a beach or chase horse or what. You know, it's 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 a longish road, but say Angie has to look at horses that may go, and I do have in my head that one day he will be an entry horse. It's just whether we can get there this time or not. Mm -hmm. and just looking at a few of your other stable stars. Um, Peddler's Cross stationed alongside um, Ballard Briggs. How's he been since Kempton? Yeah, we've so we've done a bit of tidying up with with his with his injuries and so on, and and and, and he's happy now, and he's he's not sore anymore, and we're very pleased with him, and he's cantering away, and Adrian rode him this morning, and was was very happy with him, so we're we're back on track and rolling away. And do you think um, his muscle problem can completely explain the run at Kempton? I think you can fully justify his run, yeah. I'm not one for making excuses, hence I tried to be a good sport after the race, but um, there was enough wrong to fully to fully excuse his run. I'm not saying we'll beat Sprinter Sacra when we take him on again, but he won't beat us in the manner he beat us at Kempton. And will he have a prep run before Cheltenham? Ideally, yeah. yeah. 
any idea. Which, no, no, not not at this stage. We're just back working again now, so we've got to see how quickly he comes to and play it by. There's no, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we don't. But I would like to. Mm -hmm. And you said he'd also get an entry in the Champion Chase and the Champion Hurdle. What would need to happen for him to to run in either of those races? We're just covering all bases, really. I would expect him at this stage to run in the Arkle. But if things don't work out, we can fall back on a Champion Hurdle. You know, we're just we're just trying to keep everything covered at the moment. And certainly not afraid of taking on Sprinter Sacra again. No. Bidding to become the first horse to win the Northumberland Plate and the fighting fifth hurdle overturn in front by Just moving on to another one, um, Overturn being a real star for you this season. I've been fantastic for us every season. Yeah, he's, he's the most wonderful horse and he's won so many big races. Obviously I ran him once or twice too often but the opportunities were there. He's having a good break now and we're getting an impression when we go straight to the champion hurdle. And realistically, do you think he's got a, a decent each way chance? An each way chance, yeah. I don't realistically think we can win a champion hurdle but... He has, a, he has a way of racing that makes him very tough to pass and, and, and um, if we can get him there spot on, I'm sure he'll win a massive race. He may wait for entry, to be honest. I, I don't really know. Look, he, he only won, it wasn't a great novice early one, but he won well at Bangor. There's a long way to go before before we know where we stand and, and we'll learn an awful lot more next time we're running, but the first signs have been good, yeah. And Hollow Tree, Grade One winner already, and all roads leading to the Triumph. Yeah, one more run wherever that is at the moment. I'm not quite sure, and then he'll go to the Triumph and 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 um, love a bit of slower ground. That might not suit my, some of my others, you know, but um, he, he'll he'll cope with most conditions, and he's a very very tough juvenile. Mm -hmm.